the word, guys. I know it's been a minute. As you can see, it's a beautiful day outside, but uh, it has not been a beautiful day outside for a minute. Today's the day, it's finally here. Get some gas. And if you're new here, welcome. Uh, if you've been watching, thank you as well. But today is the day we finally get rid of the incorrect cluster in my ISF. So as you can see, if you've been here for a while, you know uh, I have an IS350 cluster in my car and I'll put why in the, in the, in the description because it'd be like my 100th time explaining why I have it in here. Today's the day we're finally getting that new cluster. Um, as you can see, I have an IS350 cluster in here and I've explained why numerous times, but I will still put why in the bio uh, of the video. So yeah, I actually have to put a few more miles on my car because uh, I, we got it overnighted, but I put a little bit extra mileage on it so I can still drive it uh, throughout the week. Um, and I have to make sure it matches because you know, you know, most of the time they make you park it, but I didn't want to park it until they got here. So I will be uh, I will be putting a few more miles on. I gotta get to like 2.30. So we're gonna drive around a little bit and then we're gonna go meet up with uh, my mechanic. He has a shop, but we're not gonna be going to the shop right now just because uh, I don't have enough miles to get to his shop right now. Um, I'd be uh, pushing it kind of close. And I don't wanna do that. So we're just gonna, he's gonna meet me up somewhere. We're gonna throw the cluster in and then I'll show y'all. Cause uh, this is not what it's supposed to look like. And I know you guys have uh, told me numerous times. It's like one of the most common thing on my videos, but hey, you know, today's the day, it's finally here. And really the thing I'm most excited for is to actually uh, have that F when I go into sport mode. Cause right now I got this ECT power. I don't want that, I wanna, I wanna have an F right there. And being able to see what gear I'm in and being able to see my RPMs right. Uh, it reads the RPMs wrong, it's been trash, but I got used to it. I'm the only one who ever sees it. it hasn't really made a difference in uh, how the car performs, but it's gonna be cool to actually see, you know, the correct information. And it will be a 20, 2008 to 2010 cluster. I looked everywhere for a 2011 plus, but I just could not find one, unfortunately. And uh, it's like, that was the only time where I just had a, a blank check to kind of go get it. And I still, golly, these potholes are crazy. And I still couldn't find one. So I searched high and low. Uh oh, might get me. Uh, searched high and low, couldn't find one, but could easily find a 2010 one. So order the 2010 one. Got it uh, overnighted. Got to drive a little bit to get the mileage matched up, and then I'll make a video of me throwing it in the car. Probably won't record too much on the way there. As you can see, it's just uh, traffic. So, nothing really to see. Chicago when school gets out uh, my GPS said 20 20 minutes for three miles I got the mileage pretty close we need 37 it's at 722 and I got like five miles left so we have to drive a little bit and probably pull over and just put it in the worst thing that could happen would be that I accidentally go over the mileage and I don't want that to happen so I haven't wanted to bore y'all but I've been driving around to get this mileage right we are three off so I'm gonna head over to a mechanic spot and uh, we're gonna throw it in here. My All right, I made it, got the mileage exactly correct. So now it's time to get the swap in. It looks to only be a couple bolts, so it's probably gonna be pretty quick. Um, shouldn't take long at all. We finally got the mileage in, right? Yeah, we got the mileage in the day. The day's finally here. I was uh, I was telling them we were pulling up the, to get the mechanic spot. Yeah, we got the unboxing. Yes, sir. So y'all, Jet the Mechanic, he uh, sponsored this uh, here part install. So, you know. And the way we had to do it, it's not just a plug and play. It's gotta be the exact mileage that the, uh, the computer is uh, displayed because you don't wanna have your old dominant say one thing and your computer is reading something, something else. Uh, this is Jen, he been doing this for a long time. Uh, he got a bunch of cool cars at his shop, man. I can't wait to show y'all one day when we get out there. This yeah, ain't look, nice. <laughs> look at this beautiful old dominant. Man, oh man, the day is finally here. This thing is beautiful. 
and I sort of got a shorter uh, Phillips screwdriver, but. And like I was telling you before, I haven't drove the car in weeks. So Y'all see it's dirty in there, but we're gonna get it clean because we're gonna hit some car meets this weekend. Finally, this is so surreal. Since I got the car, it's been bothering me a little bit that I did not have the correct cluster. I know it bothers all the people watching my videos too, but I'm really doing this for me. Like I said, I couldn't find the uh, 2011 one anywhere in the country. So it is what it is. I guess you gotta kind of get them when they take them off of broken cars. And that's really hard to do because they didn't make that many of these cars. All right, so you got the 90 degree engine. Uh, what size is that? Uh, this is uh, a number two Phillips. Number two Phillips, y'all see it. Okay, so first thing we do is Oh, I thought these were Phillips screws. These are actually uh, fasteners. Oh, so it's really just fasteners, that's yeah, it? Yeah, plastic fasteners, so. Go to move this plastic fasteners. And then, so there's two screws just right there. Super that's easy. That's two fasteners, so. Oh, two fasteners. Yeah, see, the screen cover. Should just pop right out. Our gents, just look at the manual real quick, make sure you're doing it right. Um, don't want to mess anything up or break anything so just an experienced mechanic so you always you know let's just see what he's doing before he before he does it um unlike myself i've broken a lot of things but i'm breaking less things now from uh trial and error so i can see this okay so i think this has to be oh yeah see oh is that easy so that drops down right there so look that was, that was for the screws right there so let's get to those screws oh right so there. now right here got the phillips screws i'm getting close to y'all because last week when i did my alternator the videos weren't that great so i'm trying to point out everything so you guys can see it so right here so right now he's knocking out those two phillips, phillips screws easy the manual tell the truth if, it's, if the manual say 15 you just have it done in 11. hey we just go ahead and move this cover so I think the reason why they want you to move the steering cover, the trim cloth that's there. But so what we do, we go disconnect the battery. Okay. To keep that steering wheel in that position. You gotta be very careful when you pull this cover off. No one's scratch, no, no face. Right here, right now, I think it's getting caught on the top a little bit. Um, but just gonna wiggle it out real quick. It's a claw that holds it in place right here. It said move this claw right here. So you gotta push the claw up just like that on that side. You see these little claws right here? You push them up. And release the uh, cluster. And we're doing our best to get a, a video of it. You can see it's kind of tight in there. My phone couldn't even fit in there if it wanted to. Okay, once I get this cluster, then you can see the claws I'm talking about. Okay. You say you have to do that to get it out? Yeah, we're gonna have to move that trim cover so there's no way to escape that. You gotta turn the steering wheel to the right. Just like that. And you see these screws right here? Ooh. It's a screw right here. Pull the screw. Right there. You turn the steering wheel to the right. Ooh, let's see. Okay, and you move this, you remove the screw right here that you had to remove to remove the steering cover. And then after that, you should have access to take okay. out the cluster. Okay, I'll drop that. So then, if you get to the other side, turn it to the left. See that screw right there? So, do we have a choice? No, we don't. <laughs> you guys can see he's being super careful not to break anything. So now that we got that out the way, now we can remove the cluster. Slides right out. Pull that signal light down, signal light switch down. So, this is what we gotta do to keep from scratching the uh, the lens. Yeah, because if you take this out of your car, I'm sure you know you might wanna might wanna sell it, but I wanna keep it, whatever you're gonna do with it. But you wanna you don't wanna mess it up. And right here, is this this is where the connector is. So there are two connectors. You have one right here, and 
then yeah one right there but those are connectors so now we could guess this is the best way to go there you have it so the two clips that you have to the two jaws the claws to release this upper part of the cluster is right here. Other thing you're doing, you're getting your screwdriver and you just lifting it up like that on both sides. Yeah. So the clip just like that on both sides. Right. Right in there. Here is the new one. Like I said, I couldn't find a 2011, but here we have. I'm still thankful for the 2010 or 2008 to 2010. It got the uh, 180 on the dash. I'm gonna be able to see my oil temps. I'm also going to get that, you know, nice big F when I go into sport mode and be able to see what gear I'm in. And it'll finally read those RPMs right. Uh, this is the old one. This is what I had before. You know, it's cool. It was serviceable. Uh, only really I noticed it, but it, was, it wasn't fun not being able to read my RPMs correctly or see other things that my, my other friends could see on their cluster. So. You like that one better? Yeah, it's the one that's supposed to be in the car. Go this way, you know, keep from scratching your cluster. So you got to be very careful. So you just got both of them plugged in. Uh, it's pretty easy. Only two ports on the back, right and left. Cover it off the way. You have better access to the uh, screws to the cluster. So now that we got the cluster back in, first thing we're gonna do is reconnect the battery. Before we pull out the trim in and the uh, bezels back on, we're just gonna make sure that everything is up functional so let's connect these young batteries back up <laughs> hey gentleman man said it looks nice he's not even a jdm man himself Ooh! what a big difference you like it yeah but we just plugged it in um the company we yeah. got it from messed up like gent has the email right here where he said the right mileage so they they uh messed up so what i'll probably do they're only like two hours away I'm sure if I drive out there, they'll fix it for me. So I'll end up probably doing that here in the future. But for now, it's not a big deal. And I have it, I have the mileage exactly when we put it in. It's like 11 miles off, so we can definitely get it fixed. But not a big deal. I don't plan to sell this car anytime. So now it does look nice. We just, I'll just, I mean, I'll drive out there. As long as they say they'll fix it, I'll drive out there eventually. It's only two hours away. So it does look nice. I can get it fixed on the back end. It's not a big deal. I'm not sweating it. I'll, I'll know myself. It's 11 off. It is a little bit. So, yeah, it looks good. I, my, man, my car sounds crazy. I never get to hear it from the outside. So. Yeah. Wow. Got, got to line these up real good. Now he's closing it so it's all straight. So now that we got the covers on, next thing you want to do, you want to everything that you have done putting the steering column or tightening the steering column back in i mean the uh steering cover right he's leaving the car on because he doesn't want the steering wheel to go back up put this in right there you do have to do that first and uh, what is that jeff that screw uh this screw is the last screw that go in this screw goes in after this trim is going okay, okay so yeah and they go in last Super easy. It's just all the excitement. All the excitement, man. Even Jen got excited. <laughs> hey, so have you ever worked on a Lexus that sounded like this? No, I never actually, never even worked on a V8 Lexus. See, Ugh, I'm the first. So again, Jen did sponsor this, man. We gonna, we gonna, we're gonna get his Instagram up and running, and uh, you know, I'll definitely be throwing it on here. He, uh, you know, he, he's taught me a few things. He's gonna teach me how to put long tube headers on in the future. Gotta wait till I register the car here so I can pass emissions first and then we'll throw them on in the future. But uh, at his shop, man, he got everything to make it happen and uh, he'll walk you through it. So in the future, we'll have that video coming to you guys. <laughs> he just hit the, uh, he just hit the wipers. <laughs> Final and last piece. You wanna do the honors? Oh, you got it, you got it. You got it? Go ahead, hop sure. back in. Ah, there you go. <laughs> yeah, look wow. at that smiling. Yeah, wow. <laughs> You're a Chevy guy too. Wow. That's beautiful. Hold on, go ahead. Hold on, do it again. One second.
Diddy guy too. Look at the cheeser. Yeah. <laughs> I think I'm a Lexus guy now. Yeah, 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 yeah. Of course. So, it never matters. Does it really make a difference? I don't think so. Not really. It's no. not really a big deal. That's nice. There you guys go. I'll for sure get a couple pulls on the way home. Show y'all what it's looking like. Looks good. Top of the morning, guys. It's actually the next day. I uh, I had to figure out something and I stopped recording it. Yesterday I had to figure out that uh, ABS light, not ABS light, the other one that sounds like ABS, it's not ABS. That's uh, for the headlights, because this cluster had it and it was flashing, so after we put it in, I figured that out. Then, you know, took uh, my McCann to get some food and uh, came home, so. Don't worry about my safety. This is uh, this is definitely it. I'm about to go get a couple pulls for y'all in Mexico. I'm gonna drive to Mexico real quick, and then uh, let y'all see. I know this. So this is the clutch that's supposed to come with the car. I don't see like a big difference, but it is. I was missing out a little bit, and I was happy I was able to get this at uh, no cost to me. Shout out Pedals Metals Performance, and I will continue to work with them in the near future. This video is a little bit later in the day. I'm still gonna throw it in uh, where I was doing the pulls, but I really like the angle of those first couple, so y'all get some bonus ones. Take it easy.